catch a vibe with Big Hass, only on Pulse, Pulse 95. And we are going to say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, peace, love and blessings and hello and welcome to another episode of Catch a Vibe with me, Big Hass. Catch a Vibe right here on Pulse 95 Radio. Catch a Vibe is uh, Pulse's first and only music dedicated radio show in it. We definitely chat to musicians, singers, songwriters, music enthusiasts. Um, we try to humanize them. We try to get to know them on a human level, not just them coming in and performing. No, get to know them on a human level. And brothers and sisters, tonight's guest is, um, in my opinion, in my opinion, my humble opinion, definitely legendary. Um, in my opinion as well, one of those incredible artists that is pushing uh, our Arab culture up. He's an incredible uh, percussionist, uh, internationally acclaimed percussionist, who kind of really is taking uh, our Arab identity to the world, diversifying it, um, uh, e- exporting it, which is a big word I always use on the show. Why do we? Why, why do we have to export our culture? Always, not receive. We have to export. We have so much rich. Um, in, in, in culture, especially in, in, in rhythm and his passion, man oh man. I have a segment only about his passion because his passion is truly, truly remarkable. The incredible Daniel Sayer. We're going to say hi, Daniel. Hello, thank you so much. I'm super honored to be with you uh, today. Habib. I have so much respect and appreciation. My brother. To your career uh, oh, man. and to you as a person. Oh, and, man. Uh, such big, a pleasure to you. Big, big round of applause to Daniel Saif, ladies and gentlemen, out of Lebanon. Uh, Daniel, I think I got to start with the passion. How did you, how did music get introduced to Daniel? How Did you get introduced to music or music came and knocked on your door? Uh, actually, I was a kid. Uh, I didn't have that. Uh, I, I was just a kid playing with sounds. And um, the thing is, uh, when you're a kid, you don't have that much distractions. Mm. You're you're just playing and you're just observing. Correct. And uh, I believe I was really connected to uh, to uh, to sounds in general. And uh, what what was it about sounds? Because I, I I understand my, there might be a, a kitchen story. Yeah, it's always it's always uh, the, the kitchen for me. It's uh, it's my first uh, platform stage, yeah. and I always uh, enjoy coming back to it now in my in till my now. home. Yeah, till now. <laughs> the thing is, uh, every child uh, is passionate about this exploring sounds. When you see a little child so. holding something and just throwing it away, he's not trying to do any noise for you or anyone around. He's just exploring what that tool or toy can bring what kind of sound nice. and he every child he's he has this talent inside him you know and some people just come and just you know uh, mm. uh, stop making noise or, yeah but mm. for me uh, every every parent should uh, also understand this uh, this thing like uh, the children's are explorers so, so no with, with you when you were making these sound what was the family supportive like what was uh, no okay <laughs> mm. it was a challenge um uh, beautiful challenge mm. uh, I have so much love and appreciation for my family mm. um, they see uh, things their way and uh, I've seen it uh, my your, way. Your way and that's the beauty of life the diversity even wow. inside one family <laughs> crazy <laughs> and, and yeah yeah it's crazy that you say that so okay you you like sound because you know you, you believe that every human loves sound and I agree with that how did Daniel start forming with, with Procard like when how old were you when you started okay you know what I'm good at this. I love this. Uh, actually, I uh, I was uh, I remember the first moment is uh, first solo. Uh, I was like uh, around 14, 15 years old. Okay. And I was in uh, the high school, mm. and uh, I just applied for one uh, theater play, and uh, they told me like uh, they with whom with which band i told them like i'm just uh, just me yeah, and Allah. i went and i wanted to experience like if i'm feeling this at home and i'm really connected with myself with this instrument what what would the uh, interaction of the audience when like go like how how yeah. it goes and yeah there was one silence bit uh, after i finished that no one clapped and in that one moment i still remember it for now because it was like uh what is that second? Yeah. Is it a true that uh, I like my feeling didn't reach or it reached? And after that second, there was the wow. There was the interaction. There, there was the there, there was this. Yeah, there was this. <laughs> yeah. This saved my life. Yeah, Allah. They said this was just just like go the green light. Do you do you, uh, Daniel going back? You were like 14, 15. Do you remember this moment? 
till now? The second. Yeah, yeah. the second. The second, because this second, if it wasn't the, if, if my feeling, because I really, it was true feeling, it was yeah. true love what, with what, my instrument. What, what, what was it about this second, uh, the, and obviously the appreciation that, like, what did you, you're like, oh, I'm, like, I'm on to something right here. Did it make you discover that I'm good at this? Um, I didn't learn, I didn't like had the proper education mm. and I was really um, um, afraid that uh, what I've learned with myself and my connection with myself wouldn't uh, go through unless it's under the terms of uh, uh, music education or mm. whatever it is. But I found out if you're true to yourself and to your instrument, uh, nothing can stop you. That's crazy. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, obviously, Daniel, um, you, you're so humble when you're even talking because you really transfer. We're going to talk up next about how you really transfer your audience. But um, b- b- before the break, what is it about rhythm that attracts you as Daniel? Um, actually, um, the beautiful thing about rhythm is uh, you can... It's endless. It's timeless. It's... Um, it's a language that you can't analyze, oh. you can't judge. I love that. And uh, you can mm. just dance to it. Yeah. No, I love that. that I've never heard that before in terms of a language you can't analyze. And even if you can't analyze, you, two different people will, will analyze it differently. Yeah, that's the thing. Because uh, that's the beauty of, uh, of music in general, of pure music. Pure music. Uh, without, like, I appreciate words. But the beauty of music and rhythm is that... Uh, you just feel and um, you don't um, have the thoughts of um, of what where would that uh, like um, take you you don't you don't analyze any words so Correct. it doesn't it doesn't uh, it's above it's yeah. magical no definitely um, if i play this song right now uh, what's the first thing that comes to your mind can you hear it yeah and i know there's a story about behind that and this is something we're going to play fully in a bit but yeah. but tell tell me about this song. Uh, this beautiful story actually uh, happened in India. Wow. Uh, I was blessed to be there in the COVID times. Mm. I was uh, locked down in a beautiful wild farm, and wow. uh, I had to experience um, this farm and uh, my surroundings and myself more. Um, I was locked down for three months, and at the end of those three months, I was searching for any collaboration, any uh, any human touch. Uh, that I wanted to just uh, experience there before I leave. Okay. And then uh, one of the um, one of the friends there uh, actually sent me different artists, and this art particular artist, Rhythm Chow, his name. Rhythm Chow. Yeah, Rhythm Chow. Okay. If he's listening. Shout out to him. Chow. <laughs> Chow Rhythm. And, and he's uh, playing the guitar. I guess. He's playing the guitar actually, and he's one of the beautiful, beautiful inside out players. Uh, I just told him like, what if? And me and you uh, had uh, had the ability to just be uh, facing each other or just sitting w- with each other in a studio and just jamming without like uh, I know you don't know me. Yeah, I'm leaving in two days. Uh, <laughs> do you have crazy. any connection to a studio? And he was receptive and he accepted the That's invitation. Crazy. And this is he the just outcome. went with uh, with the guitar. He sat. I sat with my instrument. We don't know each other. And then we just made one hour and a half of uh, music session. And, and that's one of them. And one of them. It's pure improvisation, pure feeling. Crazy, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to play the full thing right now. But if you have a name, we're trying to come up with a name for this one. Uh, please do text us, 4215. What do you feel when you listen to this? Like, what kind of name? <laughs> yeah, we didn't name it. We're open. We're open. No, no, no name yet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a break. We're going to f- we're gonna hear this fully uh, right here. We have Daniel Sayer, who's an incredible precautionist, um, human being, um, uh, just an artist, a true artist, uh, you know, and, and someone who inspires me personally because he's really taking our culture and really exporting it in the best way uh, possible. Do not Thank go you. anywhere. You are as well. Oh, yeah. bless you. Bless you, my brother. Do not go anywhere. It's Pulse95 Radio. Catch a vibe. Catch a vibe with Big S. Only on Pulse. Pulse 95. Pulse. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, right here at Pulse 95 Radio. <laughs> Catch a vibe. We have the incredible Daniel Syed, uh, who is a, a precautionist. Somebody, you can hear him a little bit. See, he's trying to vibe with the beat. <laughs> See, this, this is live. <laughs> Incredible. 
Denis, Denis, ladies and gentlemen, is somebody with a lot of passion and, 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 and hunger to what he does. Um, first time I've seen him play and perform was in the Arabian days. And uh, his passion inspired me so much. It's crazy. Uh, and he was just talking about the concept of sound. Um, Denis, definitely thank you for your time. But how does, maybe it's a weird question, so excuse my ignorance. I'm sorry. But how does Daniel hear sound? <laughs> yeah, you see, like that, ha- what, what, be, because you have a you have an interesting theory about sound. You love it. Yeah. So in your world, w- w- sound is important, right? Yeah, I hear it with love. I hear it with acceptance. And um, uh, if you hear, uh, we have to practice this. You know, I uh, we have to listen. Uh, it's it's about uh, how how you can uh, hear everything around you yeah. with love and acceptance. Mm. And um, at the end of the day, as an artist, you have to reflect that mindset. You have to reflect that uh, whatever uh, theory you come with yeah, with, uh, with your art uh, yeah. expression. No, I hear you, but I, I wish all artists think this way because it's it's amazing what you said about you know accepting about no judgment right about about that so did you did sound teach you all that like this journey when you became when you start performing did you learn all that or you had these thoughts before um for sure not with practice um the moment you sit with yourself if you're if you're trying to paint if you're trying to uh, uh be with any tool that uh, that you can express Uh, yourself within that tool and practicing uh, the sound of that tool or the image or the color whatever it is uh, as a form of art it teaches you a lot about yourself and life it can't go wrong I love that wow this is like this is incredible um, when when people say precautionist what what does that what does that mean like in terms of like you know obviously you, you play Because if you're watching on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, mashallah, you play d- different different instruments. So I want to know what does that mean? Like in what category as a, as a, as a musician are you? Um, if you if you want me to be honest, yeah. I uh, I'm just uh, like a very 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 normal person. I yeah. don't consider myself even a musician. Mm. I wasn't. I didn't go through the music education that much. I just. Had to learn the basics, so I can just uh, really uh, be close to my uh, my instrument and try to uh, to uh, explore myself, my rhythm, and my identity. And that's it, uh, wow. as it is. Uh, I'm different as as you are different. Yeah. As everyone is different, yeah. and uh, and trying to uh, be to be true to myself uh, every day with my instrument and with my. Uh, Uh, feeling yeah 100% uh, in the industry but mashallah Mathen, you have you have different instruments that you play for example if people are watching us right now what what's the instruments that you have in front of you right now like yeah. just quickly mashallah. it's a last minute uh, uh, it is it's a last minute uh, collection <laughs> from my home <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it's just uh, this is a small darbuka i just it's darbuka. a precious gift from a friend shout out to the friend yeah shout out <laughs> to artur artur well shout out to artur see you made it on the radio Okay, so this I gotta, I gotta say like how like this is uh, obviously even the, the the size of it is is so you can do any with anything you, you can create sound. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> right. Love exists also in the small uh, small things. Yeah, see? <laughs> w- what's the one? What's the one on your the, the colorful one? Like uh, the colorful? Which yeah, one? Th- this th- one. This one. This one actually uh, one of my favorite because uh, yeah. it's called the wind instrument. The wind. Yeah, because it's. Uh, This is crazy. It's because when you're breathing, you don't feel the air, you know? You don't listen. Correct. But when I when I do this. This is insane. I swear to God, I love you, my brother. Well, this is crazy. Um, Ditch love, D- Daniel. I gotta ask you about this. Like, I was waiting for the right time. Yeah. Your passion. 
when you're performing on stage, yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, when you're performing on stage, you you go somewhere, no? Like you, I've seen you perform, yeah. And it's like you uh, and I've you know, I've made my even my, my wife my my friends watch you, yeah. And they're like, look, they look at your face. You just did it. You you go somewhere, even if it's like for 20 seconds. Yeah. What? T- talk to me about that because I don't think it's only a showmanship or entertaining. No, it's uh, not. Actually, we are somewhere. Unless we are talking, unless we are interacting, we are somewhere. Man, this guy is incredible, <laughs> bro. Wow. Th- th- when you're when you're when you're performing like that, t- take me through the feelings. Like, are you at the happiest? Um. It's a it's a blessing. It's a um, um, it's a beautiful um, uh, ecstasy mm. uh, or uh, um, it's a beautiful love to be grateful to be alive to feel this um, yeah, Allah. body to mm. feel this being a to grateful feel, uh, yeah to be to be grateful to yeah. be grateful. This yeah. is uh, I mean I mean the first time I've seen the experience hundred percent. Some of the tunes that you, you, you take me through, uh, the best thing I can describe it, and I don't, I don't hopefully he's going to perform something for us, but you guys have to watch uh, Daniil perform um, live because he really takes you on this journey, and I think we all need that. When I, when I saw you, I was going through uh, a bit of a tough time. with the, I've been doing this since 2006, and you go through really tough times in music. And, and you took me somewhere for that, this like, 30, 40 minutes that you performed. I, and that's why I fell in love with your art because you made me forget and I think this is the definition of an artist, uh, generally, to, to, to transfer you somewhere else. And when you go back, when he or she is finished, yeah. you go like, oh, okay, we're, we're back. We're, where were we? So Allah yahmeek, man, this is crazy. Thank you. Um, it's my honor. It's, uh, I feel so no, bless, bless. to, to, to um, listen to this. So I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot. So let's say you want to perform something for us right now, whatever it is. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you freestyle. Yeah. Can, you, can you do that? Uh, yeah. All yeah? Right. Whatever. Okay, perfect. Now? Yeah. Whatever you want, like you know, okay. Wh- 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 whatever instrument that you feel like, we'll have like a minute and a half to, you know, we just want the mm. people to hear you. Whatever it is, um, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow! I didn't see that coming. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ju- you Thank just you. Uh, wait, wait, an- another another round of applause. Seriously, Daniel Sly, ladies and gentlemen, with us. Um, very, very talented. Uh, Allah yahmeek. Again, this is just inc- incredible in every single way. Um, Daniel, we have. Um, I think we have uh, another another record that I'd love to play from you. Uh, this is something you can hear right now. Uh, Tell me about this. We can hear it a little bit. We're going to play the full thing. This yeah. is called Min, Min Al Ard Al Ard, is it? Uh, it's called Kunsan. Kunsan. And um, for me, it's, um, it's a reminder of, uh, um, of our connection with, uh, with um, Ma'al Trab, Ma'al Ard. Ma'al Ard, with the land. Yeah. 
crazy um, with, with the actual with soil. Yeah, soil. Yeah, with the soil. Yeah, yeah. That's oh. why it starts with the. Yeah, um, this is a shovel. Yeah. And uh, with wow. a tribal voice, where uh, where language were was was not established, and we had this pure connection. And, uh, and this is you. Yeah, that's me, actually. Uh, w- w- what inspired you to go there? Um, I believe um, we should all go from time to time. Mm. We should all forget uh, our diversities and our languages that really say this is me and you, you know? And um, before that connection, I believe that we did a beautiful evolution. Mm-hmm. But but we need to remember that uh, above all these languages and uh, all these diversities, uh, we are one. And we are all, we came from the same source, we're going to heading to the same source. Fact. So, uh, wow, gave me goosebumps. and yeah, that's the, um, that's our host. We take care of our hosts. Yeah, Allah, yeah, Allah. And, uh, yeah, wow. We live, we experience, we uh, respect each other. We. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah. This is what I meant by catch a vibe, humanizing artists and understanding. You're not only just watching him or her play. You're understanding how they think. So let me play the full thing. I'm a big fan of this guy, man oh man, Daniel Sayer. He's in the building. He's on Pulse 95 Radio. Let's play the full one. Fully right here, catch your vibe, Pulse 95 Radio. We will be right back, Daniel Sayer. <laughs> Incredible. Catch a vibe with Big Hass, only on Pulse, Pulse 95. Pulse. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, right here, Pulse 95 Radio <laughs> with the incredible Daniel Sayer. If you're watching on YouTube, he is just right now ooh, taking over, you see. Wow, that sounds like a, it's like a wave's. See, this is an episode all about it is it sounds like waves am i right or no yeah, yeah. subhanallah this is crazy daniel sayer is in the building a big round of applause for him um he's uh you know from lebanon um uh, ba- based here now right you're based here in the european right now bless you um daniel is uh, somebody who is uh, he's in love with sound and rhythm Ladies and gentlemen, he's somebody, if you're just tuning in, he's somebody that I believe um, has been uh, passionate about what he does. And if you want to learn anything from him, even if you're not a musician, you learn the uh, definitely consistency, but also the, the passion. And I don't think passion you can teach, but it can inspire you to become passionate about what you do, whatever it is that you do. Um, D- Daniel, I really want to talk about um, challenges for you. What What has been... If someone would ask you right now, Daniel, what is like the most challenging thing you've been through as an artist? What would it be? Um, Tough living. question. <laughs> Breathing? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just saying like, uh, um, as a normal human being, we, we, have, uh, we have challenges. Fact. The thing is how you, how you accept those challenges and how you deal with them and how serious you can take those challenges. Um, for me, it was, uh, it was for sure like uh, a bad and uh, I don't say bad, a sad and uh, mm. happy moments that I uh, cherish both okay. in my career. And um, I cherish the wins and I cherish mm. the um, losses. The, yeah, I, w- it's, it's only winning for me. Either I win, in, and win an experience or I win, um, I win a step forward, you know? Nice. Um, so everything for you is a learning experience. Yeah, somehow. challenge is um, losing is winning an experience, mm. and uh, winning is just winning a step forward and not winning the whole thing. Mm. You can't win a journey. You know, you have to live the journey day by oh, day, oh. moment by moment, yeah. and every day you wake up, it's a new thing. I, there is a rapper who passed away. His name is Nipsey Hussle. Um, he ob- always said that life is a is a, is a, is a is a marathon, right? So you have yeah. to keep running. It's not yeah, like a, true. it's like a hundred meters and you're done. You gotta keep running. Yeah. Um, what keeps you running? So you inspire a lot of people, mashallah. And then people, I've seen people get inspired from you. Like, wow. I've seen people, Daniel, when I'm, I'm seeing Arabian yeah. days, they were going, they were going out. They were leaving. Yeah. We started playing. They turned around. They like, whoop. What's happening? Who's that? Like that is Daniel. And they, they, they stayed the whole night. Wow. <laughs> So what what keeps you going? Like what inspires um, you? Actually, the my tool, which is rhythm, rhythm, mm. rhythm keeps you going. Rhythm and, and rhythm is infinite. Yeah, rhythm, rhythm is just um, it's my tool. It's my journey, and I don't I don't think like um, um, 
you said about inspiring uh, others or uh, or just uh, talking about this particular subject i'm with the art of everything i believe that art exists um, in every tool in every craft and uh, the art of what i do um, is my uh, i cherish this because this is what uh, makes me uh, one with myself with, yeah, uh, with allah wow um no i love that you said that so i'm going to share something personal with you because i i feel comfortable with you so my my son he just turned 13 wow. and he's autistic so he's on wow. the autism spectrum and subhanallah he's i want to say like he like he, he began liking sounds but he likes the sound of things for example he likes the sound of a washing machine uh-huh. like sound of engines and cars uh-huh. Uh-huh. it's been like that so me and my wife we we have not put that down we love that so we go to showrooms we go to places just for amazing a and, and and i just hope you know like so when, when when you said in the beginning parents encourage that it made it made me smile because like we're yeah. we're trying to do that with our amazing son. bless you uh, uh, the family and oh, him. Bless, man. Bless. i believe he's uh, super special to yeah, have you as yeah. a father bless. and uh, and what he has is mm. is a beautiful world that we can't see. Exactly. Thank but, you for saying uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. He has he has yeah. such a beautiful yeah. world, and uh, I cherish this. Yeah. You should, I, I believe I, you cherish this as I, well. I, I, I can. And uh, it's really interesting. I would love to also play different yeah, songs with like, him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll really, be amazing. This, he, he'll be he'll be, be inspired <laughs> for sure. Um, Daniel, when we talk about the music industry or the music, yeah, the music life. How is your how is your journey musically? Because it's always interesting when it comes to precautionist musicians with yeah. with not a lot of words, right? It feels like you guys have your own journey. Yeah. It feels like you know there's a lot of talks about the Beatles, uh, singing, uh, you know, rappers, but bro, there's a lot of musicians that don't sing or rap or you yeah. know they're just performers. How has your journey been so far? You have to work hard. Uh, harder. Hard, yeah, um, or harder or just hard until. Um, until that rhythm become your voice. Hey, wait, 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 wait. He's writing a book today. You're writing a book, Daniel. <laughs> until the rhythm becomes your voice. Man, Billahi, copyright that. Copyright that. You, this is for you. No, I'm serious. This is for you. No, no, no. The book that you did write, Until the Rhythm Becomes Your Voice yeah. by Daniel Sayer. Kitab. <laughs> That's amazing. So um, yeah, that's crazy that you said that. In terms yeah. of like until, until the, the the rhythm becomes your voice. So 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 how is that like for you? Like you 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 have like you drop albums, singles, or you only perform. No, what is actually, it like? I'm still in my research to uh, mm. to know more about me. this. This is an infinite uh, world, mm. and and the music world is uh, is really 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 enriching. And as long as I can really. Um, just uh, enrich myself more with the music and uh, and rhythm and meet different musicians and uh, inspiring people around i would prefer to just uh, maybe uh, maybe soon i will release uh, as i'm as, yeah. um, as we were just discussing but uh, yeah i'm that's why i didn't release anything before so, so far it's only live performances live performances and research and uh, just enjoying my uh, that's crazy that, my that that i think takes a lot of patience we're going to take a yeah. short break ladies and gentlemen and we're going to wrap back um uh, daniel what can we play i know that you have like two or three songs that we can play choose one whatever record that you sent me whatever you feel like right now what what shall we play for the people listening uh first baba baba by who uh, by, actually, uh, by uh, by a bad Sikuru Adipuju. Yeah, uh, featuring different uh, masters uh, and musicians. Uh, I believe uh, Zakir Hussain is one of them. Oh, wow. Okay. He's, uh, one of, uh, yeah, Zakir Hussain, correct? Giovanni, Giovanni yeah. Hidalgo, yeah. Okay. Uh, those are uh, masters in percussions. Wow. This, uh, yeah. Let, let's hear that. Let, let's yeah, hear it right they here. They have the voice. Amazing. <laughs> they have the voice. We're going to be right back, you guys. Keep it luck. Do not go anywhere. We're going to be right back with Daniel. And I see the hand pan right here. So he might do something live for us on the hand pan. Keep it luck. Pulse 95. Catch a vibe with Big Hass. Only on Pulse. Pulse 95. Pulse. Ah. <sighs> Catch your vibe, ladies and gentlemen, Pulse 95 Radio. Um, I'm with a special guest. We've reached our last segment. His name is Daniel Sayer, uh, from Lebanon to the world, based here in the UAE. 
incredible guy, seriously. And in the background, you'll see the, uh, you'll hear, um, and you should watch him actually perform perform this incredible guy. It takes you on a on a journey. Um, Daniel, you said you said the first time you were performing, you were fourteen, fifteen. That one second when people kind of took, you know, yeah. and then start clapping, and then obviously the rest is history. What can you take me through some of your best performances? What, where, where does Daniel like to perform? Like the best performances? I, I'm gonna gonna push the question even more, but I want you guys to really feel right here first. Daniel Sayer, get ready. Oh. Man. You see, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching it, it's crazy. <laughs> crazy. So, to go back to the question, what I meant was, sometimes as a musician, you yep. need to live, right? So you perform for brands, for, True. you know, you know you're, you're going to make a living. And, and sometimes you perform in events that are, you know, for the soul. Nobody's paid you anything. Yeah. You're just getting. Yeah. Where, where does Daniil mark in that? Like, where? Wh wh what's your view on that? Or, or every performance is meaningful yeah. to you? Uh, actually, uh, I appreciate, uh, as you said, like any client mm. reach out um, has my appreciation and respect, and Amazing. I take that, uh, you know, as a responsibility. Yeah. Their trust, but um, my favorite. Uh, circle uh, is uh, is around a fire under a tree uh, yeah. just um, you know uh, yeah. with the basic instruments yeah and just uh, very close with uh, with, uh, with lovely nature. people lovely yeah. friends like you I, you know? I, oh bless you uh, I heard who, you who listen and appreciate that's uh, that's my favorite I heard you say this one more the, uh, what, yeah, a lot of times um, or some of the interviews I've, I've seen for you like a tree what, what is it about a tree that what, is it nature generally or trees um, nature is nature. Uh, nature is nature you know nature is, is us and it's our nature it's mm. our reflection Perfect. and uh, Trees, I love trees because uh, if you just go to um, to a land full of trees, whatever it is, and garden full of trees, and you observe those trees, every tree is different. Yet every tree holds uh, the fruit, the truth, mm. the, the truth, know? and uh, it's it reminds me of us. Uh, if we see ourselves and others as uh, those, you know, mm. uh, infinite trees, you don't judge a branch. You don't judge uh, a tree like, look at this tree, it's like really, uh, uh, yeah. you know, growing like this <laughs> or that. You see it as a beauty, as an art. Correct. And you don't uh, judge that thing. Oof. And yeah, we, ju crazy. we only judge our um, uh, <laughs> our diversity and so our differences. 100%. So, Daniel, b b before we hear you on the handpan, there is something about you that's interesting. I just noticed there's a peace within you. Did that, did that peace have a salam? Is it something that grew with you or it became because of the music? But I feel there's a peace with yourself, which is a lot of people don't have even peace with themselves. Mm -hmm. They keep talking, they want peace, but they don't have peace inside. Yeah. W w tell me about that. Um, it goes back to my childhood. Okay. And um, as a very, very small kid, I used to run outside my house and we were in a very small village in the mountain. And I used to really go and observe uh, uh, wow. chickens having their meal and the, and the cow just, you know, giving that milk. And uh, That's crazy. hiking uh, just, you know, small mountain with my bigger brother. So that type of uh, touch. Connection and uh, touch. Connection and touch. It's real. And I like to uh, enhance it. That's crazy and, that you say. Uh, yeah. Every since and while I like to be again. Uh, with those, with any mountain, with any source, you know, good so, so, source. Subhanallah, you say that because so many people I know personally run away from that. Yeah, they run away from, from no, themselves. Not yeah, that. no, I know. Yeah, yeah, but they're no, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't want to go sure, back. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. I don't want to go back yeah. to this uh, life. No, this is not me. Um, you know, we live in a world that's fast paced right now. Yeah, and the technology. I know that it's interesting that you say it goes back to. Um, you're, you're, yeah, you're but who we are in this time, in that, uh, in that uh, momentum or whatever, like we're living now, I really appreciate uh, uh, this the city uh, movement. It, it's like uh, we're witnessing the mm. human 
capability of mm-hmm. doing the biggest tower, the, the biggest uh, technology or whatever it is. But uh, we should also mm-hmm. appreciate Go and witness, witness uh, what the creator and the mm-hmm. creation did yeah. in this world, wow. which is bigger than yeah. anything. Bigger than the biggest. Yeah. Oh, man. 100%. I love that. This is crazy. When you're, when you're, when you're in yourself alone, Does these thoughts come to your mind when you want to create something like music? Like what what inspires you to make a piece? Uh, to be just present and mm. to run from thoughts. Oof. To be just present and run from thoughts. Run away from thoughts. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. Um, man, what what's what's Daniel Sayles' dream? Like what's what's a dream? I know you might have a lot of dreams, but what's yeah. one at least? It sounds uh, maybe cheesy, but no. to live uh, to live in a better world. Yeah, Allah, no, that's not cheesy at all, especially right now. No especially way. right now. Yeah, it's especially. our dream, and mm. I think like uh, we should uh, not think of uh, myself mm. or uh, us, or w- it's only us. Yeah. There is no I. This is the time for us. Mm? 100%. And um, we should, we deserve it, and uh, our awareness should be more and more and more about. Uh, about what's in common mm. uh, and what we share mm. and the love that we hold and we should hold because uh, we are all under one roof yeah and if we don't take of take care of this roof we are uh, 100% it's, it's know, we're, we're, we're at the end of the day we're one ummah like one yeah. one people i get yeah. it uh, 100% and i think with uh, with what you said the, the, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now you feel like this is more important to be amplified yeah. um this this message um man daniel science it's 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 crazy it feels like the hour just passed uh but listen i see there's a hand pan i would love for you to grab it and and let's see if we can do something with it yeah, okay. um ladies and gentlemen we have daniel science with us he is really this incredible i would say you can put him in whatever box you want to put him um precautionist artist um, artistic director somebody who has a lot of you know vision dreams like sounds uh you know <laughs> it likes rhythm passionate you see I put him in all these things but i think for me is an incredible human being and an example of how passion when followed the right way um can make you reach places he he talked about this and maybe we'll get you on the next time that you didn't maybe study music as study right you yeah. you, you kind of you just followed your passion and you kind of learned it that way so look where this human being is right now taking our arab culture to the world internationally acclaimed um his name as daniel is somebody that is when you say daniel Sayles, bam like you know uh, you don't even need to like when you say it and when you see him perform you go like i want to get to know him even more and then you start getting to know him like me and you understand that this guy has an incredible mind you see this f- fantastic um you so you have the handpan it's always interesting i've had a couple of handpan artists too, right here on the show it's a very interesting instrument um Do you know the history of, of, of this instrument? Like, um, yeah, a little bit. Okay. How, uh, it was like uh, an instrument that play used to be used to be played in uh, in sticks, and then really, yeah, and then uh, one family in Switzerland decided to uh, take that uh, uh, you know original instrument and then uh, just uh, close it in a way. Oh and, wow! Uh, to play, uh, it's a steel drum and uh, mm. tuned in a very beautiful way. It is. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Somebody I've had once on the show said that sometimes the sound that are there somehow is similar. I can't, I can't quote it. Similar to what goes on inside the womb or something like that. Like I don't know. Would you? Um, I think it's um, depend on the uh, wavelength or something yeah, like that. That he was saying. It's like four, three, two uh, yeah. hertz. Yeah, 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 frequency. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The frequency so, he was talking. Yeah, it's different frequency, and uh, usually that frequency. Uh, touch us more. Yeah, I can say crazy. Yeah. All right, uh, Daniel Sayer. Um, I can't wait for you to you know um, you know play. Uh, so take it away, Daniel Sayer, right here on Pulse 95 Radio. Catch a vibe.
<laughs> Incredible. One more round of applause. Wow. Ya Allah. Ya Allah. Ya Daniel. Ya Saif. Um, thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Um, so, a couple of things before we play a little bit of Tin Arun, which I'm a big fan of. Um, man, these guys I'm are legends. Cheers. Right? Cheers to them and cheers to their story. Right, right. Big and time. For more people. Um, like that, yeah, go like ahead. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. The father of the main leader of this band yeah. witnessed the death yeah. or the killing of his father, of his in, father. Fr- in front of his mm-hmm. eyes, mm-hmm. and he still chose the instrument, instrument and the music to express over over like anything else. Yeah, correct. And this is what we need. This is inspiring, correct? Yeah, it's yeah, just amazing. It's really inspiring. Um, I- I- incredible. Um, b- before we leave, I have a thought while you're playing. I just remembered something. So in the West, there's something called the drums, right? When they drum. Yeah. In us as Arabs, we have the derbakye, the darbuk, we have that. Is that the equivalent of it? Like when you say percussionist. Yeah. W- w- a drummer is a drummer. A percussionist is what you do in terms of like the... Uh, uh, is 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 it equivalent? The, der- the derbakye is equivalent to the drums in the West? Uh, actually, in... No, because the West, they have also percussions, their they, own percussions. What is it? Uh, most, pro, most, uh, like, uh, most in common, like, or I can just explain it in that way. Whatever you're using your hands and tapping and expressing yourself. That's percussion. Uh, that's percussion. Mm. Uh, whenever you're using sticks, it's drums or timbales. Also, like, and all actually drums and timbales, I believe, like, they, uh, they are all the under family. the umbrella yeah, of uh, like off percussion or whatever. Got it. it. Got but it. Uh, mainly percussionist uh, people who are working with their hands. Okay. More. Uh, I, b- before I let you go, I got to ask you about this. From now till the end of 2024, yeah. is there something that we can promise the people that you're working on? What What are you working on? I know, I know you said you're researching. Yeah. You're, you, you do. Is there something personally that you can promise right here on the show right now that, hey, end of 2024, we're doing this? Actually, um, <laughs> a percussion festival. <laughs> Yeah, let's manifest <laughs> he likes that. It. He yeah, likes I that. loved it. <laughs> uh, the thing is, uh, I would love to. Um, I would love to tour. I would love mm. to share mm. more music uh, in different uh, with different cultures, and I have uh, different uh, inquiries around. Uh, I hope, like uh, the next uh, year or this year that we're living, we'll I'll have the chance to tour or make all the tours. Inshallah, tour. And um, wow. To uh, release, to, re- to yeah. release whatever I have uh, yeah. right now. Look, I'm telling I'm, you, I'm gonna release a lo- lot of things. Just uh, I don't know uh, how, but uh, yeah, it's it's there somewhere. I just need to crop it and yeah. just uh, throw it. <laughs> crop it and throw <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm you, we come on. Daniel Sayek, follow him on social media, you guys, and show him love and support. Uh, go subscribe to his YouTube channels, uh, his 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 Instagram. Definitely go follow him. Um, your tour should be called something about uh, until rhythm has a voice or something like that, or or rhythm has a voice. <laughs> has arrived. I'll note that. I'll note that. <laughs> yeah. Much uh, love your way, big has. Thank you so much. Any you. any last words you'd like to say, Dinia, before we go? Uh, any last words? Anything at all? Okay, sound, you see. <laughs> you see. Sound uh, wins. <laughs> the sound wins. Um, thank you so much, uh, Daniel. You are incredible in every single way. Go follow him. We're going to hear Hayati by uh, Tina Ruin. Um, if they are listening somehow, what would you like to say to them? Somehow, some way, by the universe. Tina Ruin? Yeah. 
I would love to um, I would love to play one day with you. I really appreciate it. It's going to happen. Uh, I really appreciate I know there are people. And I would, I would love to. Okay. I'm going to make a call. Seriously, yeah. I'm going to make a call and we'll see. <laughs> you never know. Um, have you ever I'd met them? I'd love to support. You ever met them? Uh, I've, uh, I've watched their uh, performances uh, twice mm. in Saudi and in Opera Dubai. Oh, man. And yeah, I have a lot of uh, respect and appreciation. Incredible. You know. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Sayer, thanks so much for coming on uh, Catch a Vibe on Pulse 95 Radio. We'll see you guys, obviously, in, in a new episode real soon. Peace, love, and blessings. I'm leaving you with Hayati. We say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Daniel, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Peace. You. Peace and love.